Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple method that we can use to calculate more than one average if we are given a data set by using this technique is known as block averaging. Suppose that you are given a data set containing 12 random variables, such as the one shown here. It is now hopefully clear to you how you can compute a sample mean from this data using the expression shown on this slide. For the data at the top of this slide, n here would be 12. Each of the data points would enter within the sum here, and each one would be a random variable. As all these variables are random, the sample mean that we calculate in this way is also a random variable, i.e. not a fixed quantity. Now, if we are given 12 data points, there is no reason that we have to use all 12 of them to calculate the sample mean. We might instead split the data into blocks of three, as shown here. We can then calculate four sample means by using the sum below, with n equal to three. x1 bar here would thus be a sample mean computed from x1, x2 and x3 x2 bar would be a sample mean computed from x4, x5 and x6. x3 bar would be a sample mean computed from x7, x8 and x9. And lastly, x4 bar would be a sample mean computed from x10, x11 and x12. Let's consider how we would write a Python script to perform this calculation. Suppose, first of all, the data is stored in an NP array called data. The code we would use to calculate the four block averages is shown here. In this code, B size is the length of the blocks we are using to calculate each average. The four averages we get from these 12 data points will then be stored in the NP array called averages. This array has size 4 as there are 12 points in total and each three and for each average three data points are being used in the calculation. We can thus compute 12 over 3 i.e. four averages in total. Having set up these variables we are now in a position where we can write a loop to compute the four averages. Within this loop I have used a few python tricks that you perhaps haven't seen before. First of all, I have used the sum command here. This function adds up all the elements that are within the numpy array that is passed to it. In addition, I have then used this command here to get the particular subset from the array data that I need to calculate the block average. This particular command thus tells me to sum all the elements from i times b size up to but not including i plus 1 times b size. The first time through the loop this will be elements 0, 1, 2. The second time it will be elements 4, 5 and 6. The third time it will be 6, 7 and 8. And the final time it will be 9, 10 and 11. We will thus get the four block averages we require. I hope that is reasonably clear. The exercise that follows will provide you with the opportunity to implement a code like this yourself. So good luck.